Tottenham 2, Liverpool 1, and people are saying title race. Sean? Some people are saying we were lucky today. Some big, big name content creators. Who said we were lucky? Sim. He said, he, said, he, said we, he said we got away one today. I'm, I'm shell shocked by that. It took me off. I was like, wait a minute, Sim's usually very good. Have I missed something? I don't know what's going on. We are in a title race, Henry. Mate, honestly, seven games Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool, and our next four is Luton, Wolves, Palace, and Fulham. What is the difference between what we're doing right now and what Arsenal did last year? Tell me, there is no difference. Both teams had a great 11 and no depth. Why can't we get into January, buy a few players and challenge? But let's, let's talk about the game. Two red cards, we'll start with the first one, Curtis Jones. Yeah. We spoke about it on your channel. Do you think it was a red? Yeah, well, I, I didn't see it initially. I got loads of text messages from Liverpool fans, salty Liverpool fans saying, the game is dead. The game, If that's a red card, the game is over. And I'm like, I, I didn't know what to say. Then I saw it at half time and I was I sent them all messages back saying, you're salty and you're embarrassing. Of course it's a red card. 100% it's a red card. We've seen it's a precedent been set. So that one goes, that, that one happens. We go 1-0 up, they get a goal back. But at that point, I'm sitting there thinking, Liverpool, Newcastle vibes. When Newcastle are up, Liverpool... They didn't have Darwin Nunes. I, I was surprised he didn't play at all. Not every single minute. No. But Liverpool were dangerous. They really were. But I thought Tottenham today were at their best when it was 11 versus 11. I agree. If I'm entirely honest. I thought as the game went on, we got a little bit more lazy. We sort of ran out of ideas. Quite a, convincingly ran out of ideas, if I'm honest. It got to the point where we went down... When they went down to nine men for a second yellow. By the way, you doggy, like, crafted that second yellow like an absolute artist. It was Monet. It was, like, Picasso stuff. The way is, he got is, he, one. is he, at the moment... Best left back in the Premier League. Challenge Best me on it. In the league. Uh, uh, I can't think of one. Uh, no one I can't think of one. Not Robertson. Who? Robertson who? He was yeah, embarrassing. I mean, I mean it's the second you lose, Jota. I mean, people say, you know, we got a bit lucky, but it's about time, mate. It's about bloody time things have gone our way. Champions League final, 48 seconds penalty. Last year, the Jota in the 94th minute. I remember all of our old own goal, Firmino's last minute winner. It's about time things have gone our way. Yep, you know, okay. I, I mean, how many... I mean, I, I actually feel at the moment that performance as a whole was pretty poor. I think it was our worst performance of the season, if I'm entirely honest, but we got it done. Like I said, I think that we were the best in the... It, when it was 11 versus 11. I think that the supremacy that we had, I think it caught everyone off guard. Tottenham are not used to having such... I'm not going to call it fortune because I think that the red card was a red card and I think both yellows were, 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 were standard yellows. So I just think it was... It, it was a reaction to a scenario that Tottenham were prepared for, but at that stage, it looked like Tottenham. I don't know. It, it, I don't know whether it was a directive from the manager or the players just kind of got some energy where it was like, well, let's not screw up here against nine men Liverpool. Let's not waste this opportunity to 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 go unbeaten against another top six team. And it kind of infected the outfit. I don't feel like we were looking for the win. I think that we were just a lot of passing around, a lot of possession. And I just—it was—it was frustrating. If I'm entirely honest, it was really frustrating. For on the, last on the, on the manager, what did you make? You know, 20 minutes to go, 15 minutes to go, he takes his son off. Yeah, well, I think and Madison. I, five minutes later, I think both of them were carrying knocks. So I don't think it was a decision that was. Um, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that, that Ange was looking for the draw. And I'm, I also, I don't want it to come across like I think the players were either. I just think that there was like a, a lack of energy to go on, a lack of like get them by out. the jugular kind of go for it that was the way it came across but maybe there was more to it than we we were aware of with Madison's you know struggles throughout the week same with Sonny I think Ange is thinking ahead we got four winnable games coming up and Sonny and Madison probably weren't fully fit for Arsenal they're probably still not fully fit obviously Madison had a really bad knee jar during the week or last weekend so look it is what it is I'm not going to sit here and criticize because I don't know what was you know you don't know what we don't know regarding the fitness what I would say is that it did demonstrate to me when you've got Ollie Skip and Pierre Mahoyvier coming off the bench. With Ben Davis. And Ben Davis. And Valise, what, got five minutes. Do you, do you know what? Certain parts of that game, it was a wake up call. Yeah. Because these low blocks, we cannot break them down. Yeah. I mean, a last minute winner against Sheffield United, a last minute winner against Liverpool, I think that's a record. I think we've set a record today for the. the Latest goals. Yeah, ever in, like, in, the, in the first. Well, sort of game listen, what, what I would say, mate, is. 
Well, what frustrated? Like, I thought Kulu had a really good game today. I thought he was really strong against a, you know a really good left back in Robertson. I thought he, he handled himself really well. However, in the last twenty minutes, when we, when we were against nine men, we were just trying to force it. Do you not think we were forcing it? And I felt like he probably felt like he was the only last creative player on the pitch, and therefore he didn't get the memo to recognise that you have Valiz, who's a you know might be a kid. But he's a monster in the air, not so great with his feet yet, not ready for the feet. And you've got Richarlison, who we know is a monster in the air. And you've got two aerial threats going into the last five minutes. And Decky yeah. had the ball ten times between the 80th minute and the 90th minute. And every single time, he tried to pass it through. And I was screaming, I've lost losing my voice, saying, put it in the air. Yeah. You've got two absolute monsters in there that could get the winner. Obviously, it didn't end up happening in the way it could have done, but we could have walked away 1-1. And I would have been very frustrated with the fact that there was a little bit of like naivete, a little bit of just like lack of lack of thought. If you've got the lizard, you've got... Running out of ideas sort of thing. Uh, do you know what the one thing I will but say? But there was an option the caveat, that didn't want to take it. The caveat to it, though, is the mentality is changing a little bit. Yeah, 100%. We're playing to the final whistle. I mean, uh, how many times have we sit on the Jose and Conte where... He wouldn't change things. Kane and Son would always stay on the pitch. He took Son off, whether he's carrying a knock or not. We're still playing one game a week. He's got another week to rest now. Whereas, you know, other teams, and this is a couple of weeks' time, other teams have got Europe or League Cup. We're sitting here right now, second in the league, one point off top, second most amount of goals scored without our, you know, arguably one of our greatest players in Harry Kane. Son stepped up now, six games in, seven, uh, in six goals in seven games. Yep. Everyone said we were best number nine. Best number nine statistically. Statistically, his finishing ability is an absolute joke. I thought he had a bad day. I, I didn't think he was on. Other than his goal, I thought his performance I was, was poor. poor today. But I don't want to come across. I know, like the you, know, you can write hashtag negative Sean in the comments if you want to get that one trending because people are going to call me negative. I'm just calling it as I see it. I think it was a wonderful output, a wonderful well, result. Well, you can't see what Son's doing, yeah, mate. F off down the Emirates. Off down I, the Emirates. F, I F off down there last week, mate, to be honest, and it was a, it was a, you know, it was a decent experience. But I, I just think that you've got to call it as you see it. I thought Tottenham played well today. I thought Tottenham were brilliant to get the result. We kept going. But you've got to just call it, you know, on an individual and a team-based performance, I don't think it was our best performance of the, of the season. And I think... I probably think Tottenham would have done better. I'm not even sure what the result would have been, but when we like, when we got the red cards, I feel like it slowed us down. And I, I feel like those red cards to Liverpool... When Liverpool part the, anchored the ship down, part the bus, is that what Luton are going to do next week against yeah, us? And, yeah, and Chris so, how, so how do we pick the lock? Who, who's going to be the person to, to break these teams down? Because we, I mean, people were saying, you know, we scraped it past Sheffield United, we scraped it past Liverpool, albeit a win's a win. But how do we... Apart from obviously buying more creative players in January, what can Boss probably do to change things? Well, I, I, for me personally... Uh, Put Kulu in the middle, play Poro out on the right, get more creativity in the middle. Depends what happens with Madison, whether he's still fully fit. Um, I, I, I do think that Luton... I, I'm, I'm less worried about Luton than I am against Crystal. I think Crystal Palace will be a really Wolves tough game. Wolves away as well. They just Wolves beat six. Wolves away will be a really gut tough game. I, think that, I, think, I don't necessarily think that Sonny is the best option against a low-block team playing in the nine. I just think I think he needs a bit of space behind him. I thought he'd be better today against a team that would give him a bit more space, and he, he wasn't great. I know he got the goal, and he's brilliant. His finishing is spectacular, but I think that we have to figure out a solution. And to me, I think that that solution looks like putting Richie back into the nine and trying to whip some balls in aerially and let let Richie do what he's you, best you, at. I never thought I'd say it, but we terribly miss Paris. It's just got an ability. Hundred percent. Terribly miss it. Um, last last one because we are going to wrap up very very shortly. Who was your man of the match? Um, one of the fullbacks. Poro or, D or Udogi. I think Udogi's the best left back in the league right now. I think anyone who wants 20 to years of age. challenge me on it. If you want to have a debate on Udogi. it. Udogi. I think you go to. I think Sal Sal Torre, bending up Basuma, Mascoigne. <laughs> you know, why not? I, I also think Pedro Poro had a brilliant game today against a really, really. Um, He's only what, 23, 24 as yeah, well? Yeah, Luis Diaz. I thought, he was, I thought he did really well. I thought he was involved. I thought he got back. He was under pressure the first 25 minutes. They deliberately went after him. Salah was pretty ineffectual in the first 25, 30 minutes, and they deliberately went down the left. They thought they'd target Pedro Poro, and I thought Poro so, was so, brilliant. As soon as they subbed him off, he thought, yeah, he's playing. He, He's obviously going to play for a point. It's the first time he's ever played against us and not been involved in a goal. Yeah. Which yeah, is, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. absolutely same right. I, I lost 100 quid on, on gambling because I backed Salad to score along with Sonny. And that really annoys me. You know? But would you rather the 100 quid <laughs> no. or the three I'd points? The three points. <laughs> right, you're taking the three points every week. Right, make sure you do subscribe to the channel at Spurs Talk Show.
subscribe to this channel. We'll see you all soon, people. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.